and I was kindly woken up by the cows. Yeah, the ladies are all around. See, there's loads of ladies around, but they're quite intimidating when you don't know what to do with cows. But I stood still and it just went like that. And I don't know if that's a farmer's thing, but they did, they just moved on. There was one little bull, but it was only like a little small one, but it's still to be wary of. But they had a bit of a sniff of my top and then they had a walk around. There's quite a lot of them as well. There was camp just there in a plough point. Just from that tree down. A kind of plough point, but I made it a little bit more cosy because because it bucketed it down the rain. So that is my view. Fantastic. Cracking place to stay. Beautiful. So I'm in Bristol. Yep, come to Bristol for the day or for the night. Hopefully I'll find a camp here at some point. But I'm on like a river taxi. I'm gonna stay until the end of this and uh, have a wander around. Pretty cool. So yep, yeah, we're gonna have a wander around and see what we can see spoke to somebody on the boat and he's told me some plates of interest so that should be good all right we're gonna go outside and sit outside a bit so to speak there's a tower up there Apparently a point of interest, but I can't see it now. down having a beer with Bristol's own beer from the beer factory Bristol's beer factory so apparently so much goes towards the town I think it's 2% of the tax on it which is quite good I think I'm sure that's what I read up but this is one called well, stand for independent they are independent lovely got a nice look to it it's like a bronzy color it's got there the Bristol the factory logo and logo in the back very tasty My view now, absolutely epic. The weather has come to Bristol. I love summer, fantastic. Edward Teach is Blackbeard. So if you've ever watched the Pirates of the Caribbean, Maybe you got a little idea who Blackbeard was. A little bit. Actually, he was a privateer. In other words, he was paid by the actual royalty of the country to rob foreign ships. And eventually, 
he decided it was more profitable to go it alone. So Blackbeard was from Bristol. My favourite TV shows, Outlaws, is from Bristol. If you've never watched Outlaws, go and watch it. Excellent. Andy. So I got back from back last night from the five days away and I didn't do much filming while I was out there staying over because I had a few things to do and Bristol didn't do a lot but I just showed you some bits but I'm um, now home and I got a lovely surprise for my family now the thing is I'm 50 in November but because it's summertime they've always known a one to the bar so welcome to the daughter is going to explain the makings of the town tavern i.e dad's bar in the garden i.e dad's bar in the garden so bought a shed after quite a lot of planning and debating how we're going to do it my fiance and father-in-law thought it would be an interesting idea to put it on um boot hydraulics off of a car so the, these are gas struts off a of mini cooper out of a scrap yard that we bought so when you open it Oh, not on, not on. So when you open it, got a little bit of something to assist you on the way up, and obviously you just lock it down when it's down. Locking points. There. Then we've got optics on the back wall. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got optics on the back wall with those installed. So as in every pub, you just push up and there's your drink. The entire ceiling was refelted by my partner and he installed solar lights so when it's night time they come on automatically. Got a bracket up here that dad installed so we can sit and watch TV. He watched EastEnders in here last night. Which is sad I know but um, I did. Hey, I was laid in bed on the sofa so. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your last order's bell. Dude, tell us about that bell actually, it was something you were going to say. Yeah so it's set to a certain decibel limit. Uh, my fella found it. It's set to a certain decibel limit so it doesn't really annoy all the neighbours when rung after a few too many drinks. We've got a bottle here with a little light in it. So it's very pretty. And then we've got my dad. I don't know if you've seen any of his previous videos, but he did have a little thing that he used to lean on, which was his old bar that he built himself. So this is his old bar, and then these shelves are built out of his old bar. Now, obviously, we've got drinks on then. We've got coasters all along the walls. That we've been pinned up and multiple packs of spare coasters we're not running low on coasters and stacks in here and bar mats and towels and all different bits and bobs got uh, measures we've got a cocktail shaker so it's good actually it's got all the loads of different recipes around it we've got a pen that was left in here by next door's little girl <laughs> And that's off the old bar, the bottle. Yep. In. The bottle opener. I'll put a crayon back. We'll give that to her later. Obviously, we've got a bin in here because we drink cans and everything. Courtesy of today, so we went to B and M today. Got a bin, and I spruced it up with some fake flowers, but that's so we can keep them going all the way year round. That's the excess wood from the old bar. And also a few bits we used to repair this bar because it were yeah. bits of rotting wood as we did obviously bite off Facebook Marketplace out of someone's garden, which is why the entire roof needed replacing as well. So there we so go. It was an interesting one. It's a weird project for me and my fella. And then his dad pitched in, dad's best friend pitched in. Everyone knew about it except dad who uh, we convinced to go away for a week. He debated not going, and Mum's like, no, leave. Guys, <laughs> <So. laughs> I've always wanted a bar. I had my own little tempt. It yeah. went in that little corner, didn't it? In that corner there. But if you recognise that corner, it's where I did my burger video one time. <laughs> Welcome to my bar. Oh, yes. Andy, I'll catch you again. See you on the next video.